go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again, my favorite time. Time to rank up some champions. And we've got a few champions to uh rank up. Now, I had not planned on doing this video today. It is 3 a.m. in the morning, September 17th, Tuesday. And this video will be coming out in four, about four hours. And I was actually, I had it scheduled for some uh, Alliance War videos. But then I remembered that I'm going to be doing uh, Battlegrounds later on today. And so it would be spoiled if you saw who I was taking up to rank three as a seven star, as well as my other rank twos. So we are going to get to it. All right. So if you think you can guess who it is that I am planning on taking up to rank three as a seven star, leave it in the comments below. We're going to start off with some rank two champions um, as seven stars, and then we will end with the rank three. All right. So if you can guess, but we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Now, I haven't used her a ton, but I mainly saw her as a counter to Bullseye. And so I said, okay, we definitely have to get her uh, and, and maybe rank her up to deal with Bullseyes in um, the Battlegrounds. But she's not just a Bullseye counter. She's actually really good. And I was surprised. She handles Korg very, very well, for that matter. Uh, and so she can counter um, several. Uh, I think she's also good for Atuma. So, uh, you know, a couple, uh, let's see, Atuma, Korg, Bullseye. That's three very annoying uh, defenders that she can handle. So I had to take her up. Okay. And I decided to go ahead and, uh, while I remembered, uh, to change her, uh, uh, stat focuses. Uh, otherwise I will forget. And I just did a default, you know, stat focus, uh, I probably won't end up putting her on defense, to be honest. Um, I think she's more useful to me as a uh, attacker uh, to counter those three, especially. All right. Um, honestly, she seems to be pretty straightforward to play. Um, I do a heavy attack, give them incinerate and vul you know, vulnerability, and then just go to town. Okay, and this right here, Ascending Enchantress. Had to do it. Had to do it. All right, so the next one is going to be Chilith. Now, I had a misunderstanding about her. When I was doing the Crucible, I found out that she will not shrug off the bleed and poison from liquid courage and double edge masteries um baron zemo does that 
but she does not. And we were fighting, um, I think it was a void in the crucible. And I ended up having to take my recoil masteries off because of it. However, she impressed me. I want to get her awakened, and we will because um, we're going to be able to get a guaranteed Chile. So she goes to rank two. I will awaken her, and uh, she may even go to rank three uh, eventually. All right, next one is going to be Sandman. Now, I used Sandman in Alliance War, and I did not use him properly. Since that defeat to Kushala, I have gone to Sandman School, and I know how to use him now. And I always liked him, even when I wasn't using him properly. But I know how to use him properly now, and he is a beast. Wait till you see him in Alliance War, okay? Um, I was impressed even more when I saw him used properly. All right. So the next one is going to be Hyperion. Had to do it. So Hyperion does not need to be awakened. However, you do want him awakened for the longer duration buffs. It does make him better. But if you want to take him to rank three unawakened, perfectly fine. He is a beast, okay? All right, now we come to the last rank up, and this is the rank three. Remember to place your guesses in the comment section below if you think you can guess who this is, all right? But we're about to reveal it now. Here it come, here it come, and it is Juggernaut. That's right. After I duped him twice, I'm like, you know what? Okay, y'all obviously are wanting me to rank him up. Not only that, but he seems to be very, very good in a large number of situations. He is the reason that I was making this video because you guys will see him in my deck when we do Battlegrounds later today, all right? But I am gonna take him into Realm of Legends and have a little fun with him. All right, be right back. Okay, let's go in. You can see I only went in with Juggernaut, no synergies. I am running Recoil, so his damage will be inflated a little bit. But let's see what we can do with this uh, Juggernaut. Okay, so... him against the corner all right Goes up to a special two there we go ten charges Woo! oh the damage look at this hmm Another one, and it's over with. Well, and keep in mind that's a Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. He has uh, a little bit more health than those in the battlegrounds will have, so he's probably going to demolish some opponents. Let's go into one more. It's like a new toy. I'm also impressed because I'm running the recoils. I fired off two um, specials and it did not oh, take too much of my uh, health away. Y'all see them crits? Let me hit him with that. Oh my goodness. Nasty with it. 
All right, guys. Wow. I do not regret this rank up one bit. 25 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama. Just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.